Is it possible for the Dead Sea to die? For decades, the water level of the Dead Sea has been dropping by one meter each year. The Jordan River is the Dead Sea's principal inflow. But since the 1960s, adjacent countries have diverted its water for irrigation and drinking. So the Jordan now delivers under 100 million cubic meters annually, which is only a fraction of its former 1.2 billion cubic meters. Agricultural fields across Israel and Jordan and Syria are facing farmers that pump groundwater that once flowed through into the lake. On the shores, mineral companies are extracting potash, bromine and other salts from evaporation ponds. Unfortunately, they also actively remove brine, which accelerates water loss. Finally, warmer weather in the region means more evaporation, removing water faster than any runoff can replenish. Engineers drafted canals to funnel desalination brine from the Red Sea, but planners abandoned the effort in 2021. Unfortunately, this has meant that the lake has lost around one-third of its surface area since the 1960s, 